Yo, what's up? It's Jason here with the Portuguese Brothers. I got a little secret tip of movement for us today and one of the most generic movements that you'll see in almost any single type of workout, and that's the lunge. And I'm gonna take us away from that good old 90-90 lunge that can only give us these half degrees of motion as far as uh, the, these full ranges. We're only going halfway with these little generic 90-90 lunges here, right? That's so many people tend to do in any sort, any different type of kind of lunge variant there is. So the biggest thing is, and hopefully it's kind of common sense, the bigger ranges of motion you give yourself, the greater amounts of tension, the better stretch and tensile production that you put against that muscle. So we're gonna think about three things today when we're doing any type of our lunge. And that is our ankle, our knees, and our hips, right? Compound movement. We gotta get all the joints working to the fullest degree. So again, we're gonna stay away from that 90-90. We're gonna learn to bust deeper into that lunge and unlock a lot of hidden potential out of those tissues for growth and benefit. So, I got my dumbbells over here. I'm gonna start to go get straight to the point here. I got my dumbbells in my hand. And when I step through, watch me eliminate from this 90 degree and I'm gonna press all the way in. That ankle is fully dorsiflex. That knee is fully flexed and my hip is pressed out forward. I'm in a neutral stable position that hip. Watch out for the hips on the deep lunges where you get the booty wing. I'm starting to reach forward. That's the glutes and the hamstrings out of the picture. I'm all the way in, I'm dorsiflex. I'm looking like a really basic ass to grass squat. I'm gonna step all the way out and I'm gonna take it to the next one. And again, I'm pressing that knee forward. I'm dorsiflexing that ankle, right? I'm keeping those hips straight up. So those, these dumbbells are swinging right underneath my hips. And again, not forward. I'm right underneath and popping up. So that 90-90 you see everyone do, they're half-assing themselves. We want to bring it to the fullest degree of motion. And again, disclaimer, a lot of people might hear, if I, go any, if I go any deeper into that knee and press that knee forward, it's gonna hurt my tendons and my patella tendon. Yes and no, stretch that baby out. Don't dump 100 pounds straight into that lunge and then expect that knee to wanna give. Warm yourself up, you, wore the, you, you warm the knee up properly through full range of motion, you're gonna be A-OK -okay and again, allow that quad to stretch. And if you dorsiflex, you press that, that ankle forward, again, upstream, downstream from the hip and the ankle is gonna stretch, 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 allow that tendon actually to work better and eliminate tendonitis. So, tip of the day, boom. Ankle, knee, hip, full range of motion. Mimic those positions, stay away from those 90-90s. Portuguese brothers.